Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. And yes, I am back, and I gave this another shot. I have no strangers to this game, as some of you probably already know. Uh, I have been sort of thinking about this the whole wrong way, and uh, I do realize some things I should be doing. I haven't actually looked at uh, Let's Play videos or anything like that to find out what I'm supposed to be doing in this situation. Um, if I haven't mentioned it before, before the Rude Awakening update, I was so used to like the the different starting the the usual starting scene you had where you had the usual trio the outpost the uh, airlock crew quarter stuff like that and so when the uh, rude awakening update came out I came back to it and I played the storyline I didn't realize that they had completely changed the whole starting set setup so uh, that also ties in with uh, what the developers are actually trying to do with this game and that's actually to make it quite difficult and they are definitely doing a good job. Do these not open? No, they don't. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to try to do things a little bit differently. I do realize, you know, I didn't even think about it until, I think, yesterday that uh, when I was at the ruins there, I should have actually made a welder there while I was there. I uh, do have to manage resources. Uh, excuse me a second. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the things I didn't actually know, notice about, know is, and I can see it here, is there's actually a helmet in my battery, or battery in my helmet now. It's not actually suit power, and I'm going to assume, okay, it's not actually the middle mouse button to take out. Now the question is, how do I actually change the suit, uh, the battery? Uh, I'm just going to go into controls here, because that's something that's new. Because that actually used to be in the jetpack. Uh, let's see. Actually, it might be the R. And no, it's not. Please tell me I don't actually have to take the helmet off. Uh, let me do this off camera. I have figured it out all on my own too. Open it, open it up and then you middle click on it. You, know, you click the mouse wheel and you can actually change the battery that way. Okay, that's good. So now I don't have to worry about actually charging my suit. I just got to worry about oxygen and jetpack fuel and finding batteries which we actually find on the ship. So let's go through here. I'm going to do the usual thing. Do some... I well, don't have to actually open that. Did the usual looting, call my ship, and I'll bring you back, and we'll head off to the ruins again. Just one of the many reasons why I love playing this game. The views you get. It may not be a real planet, but it looks pretty good. Uh, if you look, I'm not sure, but I think those storms actually move. But anyway, so let's see if uh, we get different spawns this time. If it's just going to be the same thing we get on the ship every time, or if it's just going to be slightly random. You know, it seems to be basically, you know, sort of like a cookie cutter thing. Uh, that's nothing I'm going to do, too. It was uh, suggested I try to grab whatever nanite cores I can. Uh, I'll try to get into the habit of doing that when I'm just about to leave the derelict. Because uh, last thing I want is that to actually uh, be vulnerable while I'm still inside it. Uh, from what I've seen, what it does to, did to my ship, it's not going to take much to like completely destroy the the hull. So we got nothing there. Okay, I'm going to go out here, turn solar panels on, and nope, nope. I should know this by now, and I should know that by now too. So we'll run over here quickly. Authorize this, claim it. Uh, let's just give it a name. Maybe that's why we're failing. We're not giving it a name call it the junk bug. Don't ask me why, it just popped in my head. There we go, and uh, see what we have for emblems here. I like that. So, there we go. There's our ship, the junk bug. I'm not going to worry about changing the, the signs, because I don't care. I know where I'm going. There's only one spot you can go on this ship, either forward or backwards. Okay, so there's the battery. I, I'm assuming the battery is the same, the same battery for the helmet as the drill. So I'm just gonna go with that, and there we are. So now the next order of business. Uh, first of all, let's, let's get out of here. So turn my light off. Save that battery power. Is I'm gonna go to these areas here, do some looting. Uh, if I find anything good or dangerous, or I have an issue. I'll bring you back. If not, I'll bring you back when I get to the Gnosis ruins. Okay, we're going to be at the ruins here pretty quick. Uh, I 
ended up putting that other nanite core in that we find. The one that's got that, like 200,000 armor nanites, whatever they are. I haven't really looked into what they are, but I want to see how well that holds up once we actually get to the debris field. I am actually just getting a stationary orbit because I couldn't get line of sight because Bether was in the way. So we're just going to go ahead and warp here. Uh, again, I didn't find anything different than I've been usually been finding. Uh, the one resource container, the one warp cell, the three magazines, and that was it. Oh, and the resource container, which actually does have hydrogen in it. So if I could build, make a welder, I'm going to put hydrogen in it. And then, uh, I don't know if I want to really look, hang around the ruins too mu too long or just head straight out to Burner and see if we can at least find something out there. Because I know Burner's going to be the place to go. And we'll see what we can find. But anyways, it's going to take a minute, and I'll see you in a, about a minute. Okay, we're almost there. I also did check the last video too. Um, I, I, apparently, I don't actually have to research the welder. It's already been researched, so uh, good on that track. Anyways, uh, I think the hacking tool was researched as well. Someone was suggesting that I should try to scan it to get the blueprint for it, but I do believe I do have it. Uh, Sashi. I didn't even know this was a broken soil right here. Well, actually, you want to get technical. Oh, let's go up my ship. There's a lot of stuff around here. And I feel that, except for these areas here, anything that's broken or ruins or damaged should be theoretically safe. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to go in here, and we're going to see what we can find, see what we can craft, and go from there. Now, while I was at the derelicts, too, I was looking at those, looking at the nodes on the outside to see if there was any scrap or anything like that I could have pulled for recycling, but I didn't see anything there. So, that's just how it's going to be. And, you know, I was actually thinking about it earlier. It's amazing how far this game has come in the two years that it's been out. It was actually. Was it two years and three months, I think, exact, since I uploaded the first video? Back then it was 0 0.1. It was, it was nothing more than just a concept. You know, I'm not saying it's a full fledged game now, but we have a lot more to do now than what we did before. Back then it was like jetpack lasted you five minutes. It's about all the oxygen you had before. It. You know, you were done. I remember dying my first time in the first episode because I ran out of air in the airlock. I couldn't figure out how to open up the airlock door for some reason. Uh, but those days were so buggy. I remember rubber banding into my ship so many times. Or, you know, you could... Things weren't working. You'd log out, log back in, find out you're like two kilometers away from your station, for instance. But even stuff like the derelicts, they've changed a lot, too. It's come a long way. It's definitely something. Oh, I'll take that. I didn't even see that last time. That's going to help me get my welder. But, yeah, it was something I remember. It was like every, every module had to have... I think everything had to have a resource injector. If you didn't have a resource injector, it was non-functioning. My inventory full? It is. Uh, that one's empty. Get rid of that and put that there. But yeah, I remember that it was <laughs> it was almost like it was uh, uh, just a demo of an interactive demo, more or less. Uh, you got systems, you could turn them on and off, you could replace a couple of parts, go on EVAs, and that was that was pretty much it. Uh, but it has definitely come a long way. Okay, I guess this is the, where we're going to go. Let's see what we find this time. Well, actually, we're going to the fabrication module, which is smoking like a chimney right now. Uh, I do want to take that, but like I said, I'm not taking it until I go. It's not all that great anyways. I'm not going to worry about the one on the ship's actually better. Do we have anything there this time? No. 
Okay. Oh, I almost missed that. How did I not see you? Okay, hull breach. Hmm, you think? There's no oxygen, so could be. Now, the fabricator's this way. Let's, let's go this way first. See what we can find. Now, I'm going to get lost in here, aren't I? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have the cargo bay here. And I do believe... No, it's a fabricator. Let's go the other way first. Let's go to the cargo bay, see what we can find. Uh, see all these nanite cores, and I want to start taking them, but I know that could be a bad thing because <laughs> then, I'm in, then when I'm in, it becomes very vulnerable. Okay. No lockers here. Let's see what's in the cargo bay. I have to check. I'm sure they're not going to have a turret in this starting area, but you got to check anyways. Gotta check everything. I should probably check down here too, but I don't think they're gonna put anything down there anymore. I remember when this actually used to lower down, push a button, the whole thing lower, went up and down. I'm not gonna worry about the data pad, I don't care. Because I ain't playing no story mode here. Uh, nothing there. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Definitely gonna take that. Oh, it's not gonna let me take it. Oh, there we go. Got easy servo motor. Good. Uh, there's actually any resources in here. Uh, let's see here. There is absolutely nothing in this thing whatsoever. So the only hydrogen around is stuff in my pocket. What else we got? Oh, a military one. Oh, look at the health on that. Yeah. I'll take it anyways. You never know what they're good for. I always recycle them. See, they're, they're, they're tough, but they don't have a lot of durability. That's the problem. Oh, a jetpack. Perfect. Uh, not that it matters anymore, because jetpacks aren't what they used to be. Uh, stim pack I can do without. And I will put that in my hand. All right, anything else? So, yeah, the loot in here is definitely random. Either that or I missed that jetpack on the top shelf earlier. Or the last time I was in here. And that seems to be it. Okay, I... Jeez, I remember when you used to get so many of those orange resource containers. They are absolutely everywhere. And I'm going to check up here just in case. Probably nothing up here, but you never know. Could be that one dime. The one time you find that one poster that you'll never find anywhere else. Yeah, I remember when this ladder used to kill me a lot, too. I wouldn't say kill me, but... Uh, let's see, what do I have for oxygen? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to use that. Get off of there. Okay. Use that. And let's see how far I can throw. That's terrible. This guy's gotten worse. I remember there was one time back when uh, warp warp travel was like taking a very long time. Me and Tricor were going out somewhere, and I can't remember where we were going, but I had the basketball net in the, in the cargo bay of the mule, that is. And we actually spent our time playing basketball for 20 minutes with a re with a basketball and a basketball hoop, and none of us could get a shot. So I grabbed the resource container, an empty one, and sure enough, I got it in on the first shot. So that was pretty funny. Take that. What else we got down here? Oh, stim packs. I can actually recycle these things. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, what do we have for resources? Nothing. We have nothing. So, I can make a welder for 20 nickel iron and 10 carbon fibers. Is this even going to work? I don't think we have power. No, I don't think we do. All right, well, i got to find a way to get some power to this thing. I think I saw some solar panels over here. Okay, I thought that opened. Uh, it would have been this way. And then... Is it in here? Nope. It was back here. I don't think it matters. I don't think it's too done for the, these things to even work. 
I don't think I can deploy them from in here, can I? No, I can't. I'm wondering if I can do it from the cargo bay. Oh. We need better maneuvering thrusters. Oh, and I hear debris field. Uh, probably a good time to get the hell out of here. I just want to see if I can get some power to this thing. Uh, no, I can't get power. We have no capacitor. We have nothing. Alright. Oh, jeez. Uh, it used to be turret fire going through walls. Now it's debris. Okay. Let's get out of here and hope that my ship is okay. That's the wrong way. Yeah, I think we're just gonna get out of here and head back to uh, head out to Burner, see what we can find. That might be the safest option. Right now, I just want to get back to my ship before it blows up. Because I have no idea how long those nanites are gonna last in it. Oh, this is not good. Last thing I need is a big chunk of debris to hit me. Yeah, no power. Yeah, it's probably because the solar panels are out and I can't repair them. So I think, yeah, I think we're gonna get out. We're gonna get out of here and go check out burner. See what we have around there. I really don't want to be hanging around the debris field. What's this taking off so far? Ew, okay. Yeah, so the hull goes down a lot faster. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in a safe place. Okay, I'm out, out at Burner right now, and uh, of course we got the civilian ruins and a couple others. Now the problem is, is they have this very tight, very scary orbit. So let's go to the ruins and pray to God I can actually find something that helps me out. Uh, oh yeah, time. Realistically, if I can find an outpost, that's all I really care about. Something to uh, at least be able to keep myself situated. Now, so I'm sure I could probably hang out on Nasus there, going back and forth whenever it gets out of the debris field. But you know what? I lost 10% of my hull already, just from that debris field. I probably could put the other nanite core in there, but that's going to go by super quick. I think I understand the numbers uh, uh, on the, the nanite core. The I guess the 2 or the 8 HP per second is how much of the eight uh, the durability of that goes. So on the, the military ones, it's 30,000. On the civilian ones, it's 640,000. So and that would go that much per second when it's under damage. Uh, or that's how much it will resist per second because when I was only at a two armor I lost 10% of my ship but if I had the military core in there I probably would have lost the military core and taken no hull damage but the longer I stayed there the more damage I would have taken alright and here we are in the civilian ruins we are somewhat in a good place right now so we're gonna go in and Try to be as quick as we can. I've cleared out my inventory already, so I'm just going to grab whatever I can, get in, get out, and go from there. So far, we have warp cells. I have a spare battery if I need it. Got some oxygen, got some nitrogen. As long as I don't panic and lose my ship, I should be okay. I gotta stop doing that. I know. Okay. So. Fortunately, we're actually just outside the debris field right now, so this makes this fairly safe. And you know what? It almost looks like I take this airlock with me. I don't know if we can actually do stuff like that. It would actually be nice to take the whole, li whole, whole life support module here. And with my luck, there's going to be something in here. Oh, hang on. i got to deal with that. Nitrogen. Take that one, please. Okay. Uh, 
I can't remember what, uh, what the button was to unequip. unequip. Wow, they redid the visuals on Burner. It looks so much better. Okay, oh, you... No, I'm not wasting my... Wasting a hacking tool on that. Don't need it. I need the hacking tool more. Because the time's going to come where I need to get into a ship. Is that the only way in? Yeah. Kind of makes me wonder if we can actually take the life support module. Though. Uh, I'm actually starting to worry about taking, getting too far from my ship now. Okay, we have more story territory here. I have done a little bit of the missions in the first tutorial mode. In this story mode. Got up to walk in her shoes or something like that. Can't remember 100%. Uh, so that is going to be locked, I do believe. I can't remember if it was or not. Yes, it is. Okay. We're not going to worry about that. That's just storyline stuff. I'm not here for the story. I'm here for the survival. Too bad I can't survive. <laughs> Alright, and then nothing in here except for... Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, always got to check that. Not always there's something in there, but once in a while there is. Okay. And now this is where it really gets interesting. You're exploring a derelict while you're not too far off from a station. Oh, there's some scrap out there I might grab. Sorry, uh, not too far off from a planet. Planet surface, that is. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to hang around these places too much, like, until I find a welder. I've only got one ship, really. And I'm going to keep my eye on that thing, and... Oh, as much as I want to, I'm going to have to leave that. Got no place to play basketball anyways. Another suit. I really don't need another suit right now. Well, at, least I'm, at least I'm finding stuff, at least. I was getting a little worried about that. Nothing on top of the lockers like usual. Okay. Nothing down there. Nothing in there. All right. Let's go off to the next section. Always gotta look around. Okay. Wow, nothing. Whoop. I did not like that lag spike. I have this feeling my ship's not there anymore. Ooh. I take that. I don't know what was in it, but it's going to be useful. No matter what it is. Now, which way? Okay, that way goes out. Then we go this way then. Yeah, it just got laggy all of a sudden. Oh, look, a cup. Definitely gotta grab that. Can't live without it. Nothing. Uh, see, these all have the military cores. I guess they have to for the story, or else stuff would blow up before people could actually get to it. And we're in the life support module where we find a dead body. So I'm definitely not taking this one. Oh! Oh! Damn it, we're, we're not outside either. We're going to find out how much damage I did to my ship. Oh, speaking of basketball. Welder, thank you. Good thing I came in here. Another basketball. I found the basketball net. I probably take them. Any air filters? No. Okay, what else do we have in here we can steal? I mean, borrow, repurpose. I should set my spot in here just for the kicks. No, I don't want to take those yet. Not while I'm still inside the modules. Nothing in there. Okay, next room. What do we have in here? Nothing. 
nothing in there, and then we have the locked airlock, which do you actually expect people to waste their uh, hacking tool on? And that is it. Alright, so I'm gonna head back out to my ship. I pray to god nothing blows up. And then maybe uh, I'm gonna check the recording time too, but maybe we'll head back out to Gnosis and I'll get this thing filled up. Alright, so this is the last section I have not checked. And maybe you'll be lucky and find a full warp cell or something. I'll take another suit or another jetpack. That always comes in handy. Not that we need the... It's actually in there. I might actually have to use that. Nitro. Sure, we'll use it. And what else? Do we have any oxygen? No, we don't. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find some oxygen then. I did, however, find another basketball net. Really useful. Anyway, it's gonna be a race against time by the looks of it. So I'll meet back at the ship and maybe back at Gnosis. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're on our way back to the Gnosis ruins right now. Uh, needless to say, I'm in dire situation right now. I have about 11% oxygen left. Uh, what I'm going to do, because I don't know how well this is going to hold up, I am actually going to swap these out, put the military one in, because it's actually going to hold up better. Uh, this is the highest life one I have, so hopefully this holds up. I have both empty jetpacks on me. I have the canister with the nitrogen and oxygen. I'm going to take that with me. And I have a welding tool, which got, does actually have hydrogen in it. And basically, I'm going to run in, grab what I can, and get the hell out of here before my ship blows up. So you already have a hull breach somewhere. I have no idea where the damage is. Uh, we're already in the debris field, as you can tell by the sound, if you can't hear it already. And I'm just hoping the, the hull actually holds up. See, so we're already taking damage now. i got five hours, it says. Alright, so where is... The ruins. It didn't actually take me here, did it? Hang on, where's my ship? Oh, it took me way out here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nasus ruins. Gotta find them again. There we go. Bit of a waste of a warp, but hey, it helps. Uh, also, if I didn't mention already, I uh, thank everybody for all the help and suggestions they've been trying to give me. Uh, as I said, this is nothing new to me. I've also been somewhat stubborn as far as this game goes. I like to, I like to figure things out myself and learn the hard way, learn from my mistakes. Believe me, I've made more than my share of mistakes in this game and I've learned from them. But that's, that's where the challenge is. That's what, it's not supposed to be an easy game, it's not supposed to be a game where you hop in a, a seat, push a button and it takes you to where you want to go right away, and docks you to a station, and replenishes your life support, repairs your station ship for you. Oh god no, this is supposed to be something that makes you work for it. Okay, so I do have to keep an eye on my uh, ship health, this is very important. Uh, fortunately, if I lose my solar panel, I have a welder so I can fix it and get back up and running again. Okay, so we're at the ruins again. So let's get in here. Try to get to a close to a door or an access. And not crash into it. <laughs> uh, if you've been playing this game for a while, you remember back in the day where the mule was invincible. You could use it as a battering ram. Alright, let's get in here quick. Okay, match, and so let's run. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Oh, I'm done. i got 3% oxygen left. What the hell is that fabrication module? Or the cargo bay even. Oh, this is going to be such a struggle. Huh. This time I died because I ran out of oxygen. I wish I'd found those jetpacks sooner. Okay, the cargo bay was straight and to the left. Can I make it? Nope, not if I climb the wall like that. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Mm. All right, first, get you on here. Uh, unload you, uh, attach point, unload. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Oh, crisis averted for now. Oh, my heart legitimately stopped on that. It legitimately stopped. Okay, refill please. Nitro, huh? Hmm. Oh, look, another servo motor. Don't mind if I do. Well, that was definitely a close call. Problem is, I don't have any jetpack fuel. Actually, what I should do is I should charge up that other jetpack too. Oh, this one's actually full of fuel. I'll use that one then. But crisis averted. I have no oxygen. Ah, that's what I can do. Unload that. And take that off. And. Oh, this one has oxygen. We'll put that one in. Gone from my heart pounding a mile a minute to. Ah, it's all over. Or oh, it's all done. Why are you not automatically refilling? There we go. Yeah, heart pounding too. Nice and calm, like the weather around here. Well, I think this is going to be a pretty good time to call the episode. I didn't actually check to see what time we're recording. Thank God everything respawned on me, so I have lots of new goodies to mess around with. Uh, let's see if we got anything we can actually use here. Oh, I got jetpack fuel right here, so that is fine and dandy. I'm actually going to leave the leave this stem pack. I don't need it. Oxygen's more important. Oh, and I just used it. Stupid me. Let's see what else we have. Hey, another warp cell. Ooh, another warp cell. Ooh, another warp cell. Ooh, another warp cell. But yeah, I think this is going to be a good place to call it. Uh, <laughs> I made it to the first day, just barely. I don't know if I actually took any damage from that, but that was a close call. I didn't think I was actually going to make it. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.